And we'll start in our seated position. And if you haven't been practicing sitting against a wall, I still encourage you to do so. You can do it and, <clears throat> and meditate as you do that, just sitting with your back flat against the wall. And when you breathe, you wanna keep your chest relaxed, but feel the back of your rib cage expand and contract. Feel like the back of your body is pressing against the wall. And it also helps remind you of where your posture really is, gives you that tactile sensation. Inhale, roll the shoulders up to the ears, exhale through the mouth, drop them down. Inhale through the nose, shoulders up to the ears, exhale through the mouth, drop them down the back. Inhale, exhale. One more. Hold and squeeze. Exhale. You can keep your eyes closed as we do the, this at the beginning, just rolling the shoulders up and down the back. And not changing your breath yet, just noticing what your breath is like in your body right now and through the nose, out through the mouth. And then reverse the circle, squeeze the shoulder blades together, up and forward. Allowing the breath to become deeper. And then flex the hands out to the sides with the fingers pointing down. And get comfortable here. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Really keep the shoulders down the back and press the fingertips back and down. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose, and then flip the fingertips to face upwards, still pressing, pushing the wrists. Inhale, exhale, inhale, reach up. Grab your left wrist in your right hand, inhale through the nose, Exhale through the nose up and over to the side. Inhale up. Exhale, grab the other wrist. Inhale up. Exhale, interlace the hands behind the head. Drop the chin into the chest. Let the weight of the body curl forward. Breathe into the back wall of the spine. Really let the weight of your head go by using the arms, using gravity. The chin into the chest, eyes are soft. And you can rock from one side to the other. Inhale, exhale, roll all the way up through the spine, stacking the vertebrae. Inhale, reach, 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 reach. Spread the fingers, inhale, hold the breath. Exhale. Bring the hands to the knees with the palms face down to ground or palms face up to receive energy. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Make sure the chin is slightly tucked <clears throat> and the back of the neck is long. You can check that by either tapping the crown of your head and reaching the crown of your head to grow to that point. So if you were here, the crown of the head, or if your head was like this, tapping the crown of the head, or grab tips of your ears and just gently pull up and then notice how if your head was like this, it'll slightly tuck your chin. And that's what we want right here to keep the length of the spine. Close the eyes. 
Release the jaw and the tongue by bringing the, <clears throat> by bringing the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Become aware of any tension in your body. Notice where that may exist for you right now. And through your breath, imagine softening in those places. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Keeping the chest down the whole time, not moving the shoulders, just breathing from the diaphragm. Inhale for five, four, three, Two, one, hold. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale and exhale through the nose. And while you're here, I invite you to set an intention for your practice today. <clears throat> this quote may help you set your intention. I'll read it at the beginning right now and then also at the end of class. And notice if anything shifts by the end. This brief lifetime, how are we going to spend this brief lifetime? Are we going to strengthen our well-perfected ability to struggle against uncertainty? Or are we going to train in letting go? Are we going to hold on stubbornly to, I'm like this and you're like that? Or are we going to move beyond that narrow mind? Could we start to train as a warrior, aspiring to reconnect with the natural flexibility of our being and to help others do the same? If we start to move in this direction, limitless possibilities will begin to open up. So maybe your intention from that is letting go or maybe you have a completely different intention. That's perfectly okay. Maybe your intention is to dedicate your practice to somebody or to yourself. Or to something. Sitting with your intention for a few more breaths. Hi, Esther. This time we'll start with sealing our intention with one arm, rub your palms together. Press your palms at your heart center. Inhale. This is an active pressing. Inhale. Oh. Cross your right thumb in front. 
Interlace your hands, flip the palms forward. Keep the shoulder blades down the back. Inhale, exhale, reach all the way up. Keep the biceps and elbows straight. Avoid tilting the chin, keep the chin up. Inhale, reach tall, reach the shoulders up to the ears. Squeeze the lower abdominals. Exhale, shoulders down the back. And now keep the elbows straight and try to reach the arms behind the head as far as you can while keeping the chin up. Inhale and exhale. Try to keep your hip flexors relaxed here. And then flex the hands down. Walk the hands behind you with the fingertips facing you. Roll the shoulders down the back. Look at your belly button. And instead of tilting back, arch the lower back and roll the shoulders back. Try to straighten your elbows with the fingertips facing you. And then drop back. Place your feet flat down onto the mat. Inhale. And then exhale, press the hips up. Squeeze the glutes, look at the belly button. And breathe. Three, two, one. Lower all the way down. Just drop the weight of the head, not really actively stretching, just dropping the weight of the head. Awakening a little bit in the back of the legs and the spine. Roll up through the spine and switch whichever foot you had in front originally. Now interlace the left thumb in front. Inhale. Exhale for the palms. Inhale. Exhale, shoulders down the back. Rotate. Reach the arms up. Squeeze the biceps against the ears. Shoulders up to the ears. Relax your legs. Hold the breath. Squeeze all the way from the pelvis to the crown of the head. Exhale. And walk your hands back. Rotate the shoulders. Lift in the chest. Stretching the fingers, and then place the feet flat down. Inhale, exhale, press down, lift the glutes up. We're at three, two, one, lower all the way down. Roll through the fingers up, roll the wrists out, and just drop the weight of the head forward. And then placing, just brushing the hand behind the head, encouraging the relaxation of the neck and shoulders and to let the weight of your head go. So gently pressing your head. And maybe go to the front of your forehead, your temples, and then, and then cup your ears and gently pull forward, cupping your ears, drawing the neck down. Release the hands, 
roll it through the spine one vertebrae at a time. With your legs out straight, grab your left or take your left thigh with your left hand, right hand as close to your lower back as you can, close to your spine. Inhale. Exhale, twist, look over your right shoulder. So can, whenever we spiral, continue the spiral even with your eyes by turning your eyes and creating a focus from there. It's very, especially now when we're just looking at our phones or a TV or a screen, we rarely move our, just our eyes without our head. So keep turning with the eyes as you twist. Inhale and exhale back to the center. Switch sides, right hand and then left hand behind the back. Inhale, exhale, twist. And back to the center. Walk the hands back slightly and let the legs fall open and then move the hips from side to side. Just relaxing the pelvis and allow that to move through the legs. Okay. We're gonna do a breathing exercise. This is also a kundalini breathing exercise. So you're gonna, your, your elbows are gonna be straight. Then the breath is gonna be an O shape. So inhale, exhale, in and out through the mouth. It's gonna be. So this is a heart opener with the elbow straight. Inhale, exhale. Um, hands fly open. And then when we seal the breath at the end, we go inhale, sucking in a little bit of air each time, hold, and then we'll exhale. And then we'll inhale, we'll do that three times. But for the first part, we're going to do that <clears throat> for one minute, less than I usually make us do. I usually say, usually in Kundalini, the progression is three minutes, 11 minutes, and then 31 minutes. But we'll do one minute to get used to it. And begin with the eyes closed, the gaze is between the eyebrows of the third eye. Keep the elbows straight. This is an abdominal exercise in itself. Twenty seconds. Until you have no more breath. Inhale. Last time. Exhale. Arms come down. 
and come to child's pose. Open your feet or open your knees and to the width of your mat and bring your toes together. Sit back on your heels, bring your palms together, rest your forehead down on the mat. Inhale and exhale through the nose. Come back to your intention, your prayer. Inhale, exhale, walk yourself to all fours, wrists under the shoulders and knees under the hips. Open the fingers wide, thumb and pinky spread apart as wide as you can. Press the palms into the mat. Create emphasis on the thumb and index finger, that squishy part between them. Try to really press that part down. Drop into the shoulder blades, inhale, lift the chest and the heart, look up to the ceiling. Exhale, drop the tailbone, curl through the spine, press the palms into the mat, look in between the knees. Inhale, arch up to the ceiling. And exhale, curl. Now move through your own timing here, inhale. And exhale. Warming up the spine, which is crucial, the main part of our nervous system. The nerves are carried through the spine. It's really important, especially as it gets colder in the winter, to warm up the spine and the back. Get the blood flowing there. And then take any variation with your head and your tailbone and your neck and your spine. Like you are a cat exploring what feels good to you in this moment. Maybe you reach one hand, maybe you sit back in your heels. And head through the nose and exhale through the nose. Using gravity to help you in this stretch. And then come back to your flat back when you're ready. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose, drop into the shoulder blades. So this one we are going to do without bending the elbows. So take the shoulder blades around the rib cage by dropping, sinking in, and then pressing up and out and back. Try to, it's like you're pinching your shoulder blades together, pressing up and out. It's so not bending the elbows, just moving in the shoulders. Inhale, and exhale through the nose. And then reverse that circle, so come forward, drop, up and out. Your elbows can bend slightly, but not really that much. Tuck, bring your knees together and tuck your toes. Sit back on your heels. Open the hands, and then you're gonna bring the pinkies in, the ring finger, middle finger, index, and thumb. And then thumb, index, middle finger, ring finger, pinky. So just rolling it in. So pinky, two, three, four, five, thumbs in front, thumb, two, three, four, five, pinky, two, three, four, five, thumb, two, three, four, five, 
Keep the feet there, squeeze the fist, squeeze the face, inhale. Squeeze everything in the body. Exhale, slip the tongue out. Lion's breath. Really let your sound out through the back of the throat. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale. One more. Really stretch that tongue out. Inhale, squeeze, hold everything. Squeeze the legs together. Squeeze the belly button. Squeeze the arms at your side. Exhale. Wiggle it out. Shake your, move your nose and your mouth around your eyes. Pat your feet out. This time, we're not moving in the shoulder blades, but we are bending the elbows and bringing a little bit, um, warming up the shoulders and our shoulder strength. So you're gonna, you lean forward, bend the elbows and then lean back and come up. So you really have the power how much you're gonna go down. Lean forward, bend the elbows, back and up. Really try to keep your hands pressing into the mat the whole time. Waking up the triceps. And just one more in this direction. And really use this moment to press the hands into the mat and get your alignment in the upper body right to make sure shoulders aren't coming to the ears. This time you're gonna lean back first, bend the elbows, bring the weight forward and up. Inhale and exhale. One more. Good, and then rest back in your child's pose. Bring the palms of the hands together. That opens the shoulders, forehead to the mat. And then roll up, come back to all fours. Reach the right leg behind you with the toes down. Hips squared to the mat, inhale. Exhale, release the leg off. Keep the same position of the body. Bring the knee to the elbow and then reach back out. And then the knee to the nose, curl through the spine and then reach back out. Inhale and then exhale, knee to elbow. Reach out, knee to nose, and out. Inhale, exhale in. Inhale back, exhale in. Two more sets. Last one. Knee to elbow, knee to nose, reach out, hold, and then reach your leg out to the side and then place the foot down at your side. And then come onto that left knee. You can roll your mat so that you have an extra cushion on this left knee. Reach the left arm up, tuck the tailbone under, and then reach up and over to the side. Drop the weight of the head. You can look up to the fingertips or look down at your leg to help your balance. Shoulders down the back. Inhale, and then exhale, come all the way up. Back to all fours. Come back to your neutral inhale. Exhale, left leg behind you. Really reach the crown of the head out long and notice that if your shoulders are creeping up to your ears, send them back. Lift the left leg up, inhale. Exhale, left 
elbow or knee, knee to elbow and out, knee to nose and out. Two more sets. Keep the length of your spine. Reach out long. Leg out long and then open it out to the side. Place the foot flat down. Come all the way up. Tuck the tailbone. Reach the right arm up, inhale. Exhale, up and over. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, back to all fours. Time, tuck the toes under, hover the knees off slightly. Five, four, three, two, one, down dog. Feet should be about two fist widths apart. Shoulder blades down the back, relax the neck. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Three more deep breaths here. Actively rotating your sit bones up towards the ceiling and dropping the heels. Last deep breath. Move on to the toes, roll through the spine into your plank. If you had to adjust your legs, this is exactly where you want your hands and your feet for your down dog. So press back up, use the abdominals to down dog. And then inhale, come up onto the toes, roll through the spine to your plank. We'll do two more of these. Initiate from the belly button back to down dog. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale to your plank. Lower your knees, lower your chest, then your chin snake through. Lift the upper back. Not really pressing your hands into the mat at all. Look to the front of your mat. Legs should be relaxed. Inhale, exhale, press back to your child's pose with your knee toes tucked under. And to all fours, down dog. Walk your feet to your hands. Keep the knees bent to release your lower back or straighten your legs and send your thighs back to stretch more of your hamstrings. You grab opposite elbows and hold here. Avoid leaning back. Really, you wanna get your hips over your ankles. So it's going to feel like you're falling forward almost. And this is also a really good position to do the ear cupping that we did earlier. So cupping the ears and then gently pull down on the neck. That opens up the middle of the back. Inhale, and then exhale, tuck the tail on as you roll up through the spine for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one, the chin is into the chest until the very last moment. Keep your feet exactly where they are. Roll the shoulders down the back and open the palms. Look where the wall meets the ceiling. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Come back to your intention. Reach the arms up overhead. Bring the palms to your heart center. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. So in this halfway lift, you can also use your blocks. And that helps me. So take a little uh, second here. You want your spine to be flat. And oftentimes if we're rounded, we think of a flat spine, we may think our spine is flat here without even knowing that it's not. So think of almost arching the back and that can give you a flat back. It'll help you also keep your chin tucked so that you're looking at the front of your mat and the spine is aligned. So you're not looking forward or down, but the eyes are directly down at the ground. You can also hold on to the tops of your thighs and your calves. And then exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, bring the weight into the heels, sit back into your chair pose. You can have your arms and cactus, bend elbows at a 90 degree angle. And sit a little deeper. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Step back into your plank. And then down dog. Bring the feet together. Inhale. Exhale, lift the right leg high, keep the hips square. And then reach up a little bit higher. Hold. A little bit higher, hold. And then bend the knee, then the right knee. Open up the hips, stack the hips. Keep this right hand pressing into the mat. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. From here, bring the knee to the right elbow. Press back up and bring the right leg all the way through into a low lunge. Again, here you can be using your blocks. That's a modification or lower the back knee, that's also a modification. For year two, spin the left foot parallel with the outside of the mat. Spin, open the arms, open the hips, rotate inner thighs, reach the arms in opposite directions, so you can front knee 90 degree angle, 90 degree angle over the ankle. Breathe. Send it side angle, reach the right arm forward. Rest the forearm on the thigh. Left arm goes up and over. Or for a bind, reach the left arm behind the back and try to grab the front or the top of the right thigh. Keep the deep bend here. Inhale and exhale. Spiral back down to your low lunge. Step back into your plank, lower your knees. Chest, chin. Snake the upper back through. Inhale, exhale back to child's pose. Two down dog. Inhale, side out. Walk the feet to the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. 
exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Bring the palms to heart center. Inhale. And then exhale. Arms down, inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Using your blocks or you grab your thighs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Sit a little deeper, keep the front of the abdominals engaged. So almost tuck your tail on just a little bit. Sit back into the heels. Forward fold, plank. You can move through your flow if you'd like here. Otherwise, come to down dog. Feet together. Lift the left leg high, keep the hips squared. Lift the leg a little bit higher. You got it. A little higher. Keep the knees straight. And then bend the knees, stack the hips. See a little bit of a twist. Keep the left hand pressing into the mat. Inhale. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. And then press up. Left foot all the way through, low lunge. Do your modification here. If you're in the full low lunge, really pull up in the back thigh. And the heel is pressing forward. Turn the right foot parallel with the side of the mat. Warrior two, press all the way up. Hips are opening to the front, and then knee is opening over the second toe. Look over your front middle finger, inhale. And exhale. Set inside angle, hinge up, arm up over the head, reaching up to the ceiling, or bind behind the back. Inhale, exhale, spiral all the way down. Step back to your plank, lower your knees, chest, chin, sneak through. Inhale, and then exhale, rest the left cheek down on the mat. Reach the arms at your sides. Let the front of your body melt into the mat. Inhale, and exhale. Come back to your intention. How can the physical thought of letting go translate into your body as you exhale, especially when our whole body is using gravity in this way? Press your hands against the mat. Bring your forehead. Bring the shoulder blades down and back first. Away from the ears. Press the hands down and lift the upper back up. Engage the lower abdominals. Inhale. Exhale. Both sides of the spine are activated as you slowly lower yourself down. Release your hands when you can hold yourself. And then lower all the way down and bring the right cheek to the mat. Inhale, exhale, center, press the hands down, all the way up, 
Turn the head over to the right. See your feet behind you. So spiraling even with your eyes. Back to the center, inhale. Exhale, turn the head to the left, look behind you. And center, inhale. Exhale, release the hands as you lower all the way down. Sit back into your child's pose. This time, sitting back, you can have your arms at your sides as well as you rest your head forward. If your forehead, you want your sit bones back to your heels. If this hurts your knees, place a pillow um, above your calves. Also, if your forehead doesn't reach the mat, you can use a block as well. Walk your hands, roll all the way up through the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Bring the right leg in front and the left foot flat on the mat. Sit up as tall as you can. And then reach the left arm. So left leg, left arm reaches in front of the left calf. So my hand here, rotate and then my palm is facing up. Then I take my left hand, so this is where you can use your strap. Wrap your strap around, and instead of reaching for your hands, you hold the strap. So I'm just holding the strap with my hands. Or if you can reach and interlace your hands, you can also do that. So just holding here. And ideally you wanna open your chest and your heart as much as you can. So sitting up as much as you can. Release the bind with the hands. Take the left foot and bring the heel as high up to the hip flexor as you can. Sit up nice and tall, inhale, and then exhale. Drop the weight of your head, flex through the foot. And allow gravity to move you closer to the ground. So this is a posture that sets us up for a saint same posture with this foot standing. Roll up through the spine, chin to the chest to the very last moment. And then take the left foot, place it on the inside of the right thigh. Left arm comes up, inhale, exhale. Left hand is reaching for the outer side of the right foot. You can grab your clothes, your thigh, your calf, wherever you can reach or reach for the foot. And bend the elbow, pull yourself down, drop the weight of the head. Inhale and exhale. And then roll up through the spine. Switch sides. Place the right foot flat down. Both sit bones down. Reach the right arm in front. So you turn, rotate the arm to the left. Or, yeah, left. And then reach counterclockwise. And then reach the right arm in front. You can use your strap. After you lean forward, try to open the chest and the heart up. 
Keep the abdominals engaged. Inhale. And exhale. Release the arms. Uh, heel comes all the way up to the hip crease. You're ideally sending this right knee down. Inhale, and then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, exhale, go a little deeper before walking yourself up, go up through the spine. And then the foot comes to the inner thigh. Left hand by the spine, right arm up. Tall spine first. And then think of moving forward in a flat back. Again, the sensation of arching your lower back can help you as well. Through the spine. Bring the bottom of the feet together. Grab the ankles, roll the shoulders down the back. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold forward. Use the elbows against the knees. Bend forward at the hips and drop the head. Roll up through the spine. Legs out in front of you. Bring the knees into the chest. Grab the backs of the thighs. Roll, rock and roll on the spine a few times. When you come up, you balance on the tailbone using your abdominals. It's really just try to use your core, not so much the momentum. And then extend or bend the knees parallel, release the arms, and then slowly roll down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, and lower for three, two, one. Let the palms fall open, relax the backs of the legs, the shoulders. Let go of the front and the back of the neck. You can rock the head from side to side. Close the eyes. Release any tension in the lower back. Shavasana. Let go of the front of the throat. Notice your breath. Start to slow down. Let go of the weight of the eyelids against the eyeballs. 
go to the collarbone. Let the mat come up to meet you in this posture. You are supported here so that you can let go. And then take your time, roll onto one side of your body into a fetal position with your knees and elbows into the chest. Use your bicep as a pillow. The same quote that I read at the beginning of the class. Notice, this, notice if you notice anything different and if something maybe resonates differently or it connects with your intention differently. How are we going to spend this brief lifetime? Are we going to strengthen our well-perfected ability to struggle against uncertainty? Or are we going to train and letting go? Are we going to hold on stubbornly to, I'm like this and you're like that? Or are we going to move beyond that narrow mind? Could we start to train as a warrior aspiring to reconnect with the natural flexibility of our being and to help others do the same? If we start to move in this direction, limitless possibilities will begin to open up. Exhale, and then on your next breath, use the strength of your arms to come up into a seated position Keep your eyes closed or at a soft downward gaze. Place one hand over your heart, one hand over your belly button. Take a minute, thank yourself for being vulnerable. Thank yourself for coming to your mat. Thank yourself for waking up and showing up. Remember that you come as you are and you can always come back to your breath in the palms to heart center. Inhale, exhale, side out through the mouth. Inhale, open mouth, side out. The light in me honors and sees the light in each and every one of you. We bow to that which is divine. Namaste.